Namaste. In this series, we are discussing about the process of change and transformation. This week, let us discuss more about bad habits in detail. Many of us are struggling to eliminate some bad habits. To eliminate the bad habits, we should understand that how they are formed. In a response to a certain situation, we act in a certain way. When the behavior or response feels good, we continue to respond in the same way whenever we encounter such situations. All the habits are formed like that only. When the habit is established, we don't think about it. Our thinking process is stopped. We are go uh, going on doing the things automatically. But the bad habits create problems to us. They slow down our progress. They affect our health. They waste our time and energy. Even though we realize the effects, we continue to do the habits and we are unable to stop them. Why it is so? Most of the time, bad habits are simply a way of dealing our boredom and stress. Everything from nail biting to overspending on shopping, from drinking every weekend to excessive use of internet and WhatsApp, every habit may be a simple way of responding to stress and boredom. Some people overeat out of boredom. Many people drink or smoke to reduce their stress. Some people procrastinate because of their dislike for the work. If you analyze the habits further, all your habits, good or bad, are in your life for a reason. In some way, even the bad habits seems to give you some benefit. For example, opening your email and WhatsApp immediately after getting the notification sound might make you feel connected. Although it distracts your valuable attention and lowers your productivity, you may be doing it because it prevents you from the feeling like you are missing out some important message. Sometimes craving for the bad habit may have a deeper underlying motive. Excessive desire for smoking, drinking, checking social media and playing video games may have deeper issues. At a deep level, you may want to reduce uncertainty 
relieve anxiety, wins social approval and acceptance and achieve some status or there may be a fear, an event or some underlying other issues which causing the bad habits. So, even though the habit is bad, even though it creates problem, it also gives you some comfort or benefit. That is why you are unable to stop it and you go on doing the thing. So the next tip is, next tip is recognize and understand the root causes of your bad habits. Then only you can change it. Identify and understand the motive behind it. Become more fully aware of the process of bad habit. Know clearly when it happens, how many times it happens, why it happens, what are the benefits you are getting from it. Analyze them, understand them. Unless you understand the causes, you cannot find the remedy. Unless you find the remedy, you cannot change a bad habit. For example, if you smoke or drink, whenever you get stressed. You cannot just like stop drinking or smoking without finding the alternative way to deal with the stress. So, finding the root cause and understanding them fully is the first step. Then comes the elimination process. We shall look into the elimination process next Wednesday. Thank you.